What's up, YouTube? Today we're going to have a look at a new device from a friend of mine called Altar of Wisdom Auto Grid. This device is awesome for creating these grid synth, um, which are basically sounds that are placed on the actual grid at to create a rhythmical pattern, which isn't necessary because of elements, but more synth sounds that goes plays left and right and question like a question and answer plays back and forth to, to keep the track in a constant, um, give it constant movement, so to speak. So what he has done here is that you have four different inputs right over here. Um, and these inputs in, in the case, I, I have created four, four different patches, just really simple FM sounds, uh, nothing special at all. We can have a look at two of them. Um, and it basically sounds like this when you have rooted everything uh, to it. So that's grid one, grid two over here. Grid three. And we have grid four. And all I've done is, uh, let's just activate these guys. So basically, uh, it works like this. All I've done is I've just <laughs> drawn the standard one-hit wonder um, <laughs> pattern over here. So all on the root note of G, of all my patches over here. The reason I've done it not all the way as a 16th is because I want a little more gating effect. Um, so just to demonstrate how it would sound if I would do the same thing without this little nifty little plugin. Uh, just, just gonna turn this down a little bit. It would sound like this. So I mean, it's just a basically wall of sound, and we don't really want that. Um, and I want the computer to generate this for me. Um, so what I've done instead is that I've utilized this device. So I rooted all these patches to the auto grid and then I play around with the probabilities over here so like this is the probability of grid 1 probability of grid 2 grid 3 and grid 4 and here's the minimum gate length I can choose so and then here's the amount of random uh, random gate length so I have a hundred percent random but it won't go below 22 percent of a gate length in this case and this is the probability uh, of when the actual sound will play, or if it will play. So if I have it at 50%, it's going to choose between one of these, and then it's going to have another, uh, another chance of if it will be played or not. So if we reduce this to 0%, we're not going to have anything playing at all. Let's just activate this. See, we can see here they're rooting to sends only, and this one is picking up the sends. And you can see here that it's not giving any sound. So now it's a 22% chance that a sound will play based on the probability over here. So if I only want grid one to play at a probability, I can turn this up to 100%. And then it's gonna, this will determine how often it will play in this case. So, so 
So let's see how it sounds together with them. So yeah, that's basically it. That's all I wanted to show you. It's a perfect way to make you build some grid sounds. So what you could do is, um, if we, you could basically make a new audio track. And let's say I want to record, because since everything is random, it could be a good thing to record a session out of this. So let's um, record it from this guy. And um, audio here, and then let's see. There we go, we've got a four bar loop over here. So let's see how this goes. And let's say I'm happy with this. So can turn this off so it's randomly gener uh, it's randomly generated but since we saved it as a loop all of a sudden it's not really random anymore So let's see if we can grab the kick and bass over here, for example. Um, where'd I put it? Over here, okay. So. So it's a great tool um, to save some time and build your own patterns. Um, if you're the type like me that you just want to make make something going, this is a perfect device for you. Um, all you need to do is just create four patches and then root it to there and then just let it do its job and record an output and just cherry pick the best parts. So great work on this Altar Wisdom. I really enjoy it. Thank you.